Hi, this is Dr. Virendra Sodi, first Ayurvedic naturopathic physician in USA. I've been practicing for the last 40 years. Constipation is a very common problem. In Ayurvedic medicine, we say that everything starts and ends in your gut. Now, centuries later, we have plethora of scientific literature available on gut and brain connections. If you're not digesting your food very properly, you are going to make a lot of toxic materials. And the toxic materials are the beginning of almost any disease we can have. So keeping your digestive system very healthy is the key. So what are the factors what you need to do to keep your digestive system healthy? Number one, mind and body connection. Look at your food, smell it, feel it, experience it, express gratitude. A lot of time we're just eating in a such an anger, in a such an emotional state that we're not going to digest it. So stay cool, calm down, pay attention to your food. What putting in, what you putting in your mouth, make sure that you're establishing a connection with it. Second, fiber. Where you get your fiber? We get it from fruits, vegetables, our nuts, seeds, and grains. This is our main fiber. There are three kinds of fibers which we have. One is called insoluble fiber, which does not dissolve in you. It's like a psyllium husk. A lot of you know isk bowl or psyllium husk. It does not dissolve in your gut. Then semi-soluble, as the name suggests, some part of it suggests uh, the digestion, some don't. And then soluble, which is present in mostly in fruits and vegetables and grains also. So these three fibers are very important for our gut health. Why they are important? Because they support the gut flora. So interestingly, in our gut, we have more bacteria than your cells. We have 100 trillion cells in the body and we have 1000 trillion bacteria in, the, in our gut. So if you think you own the body, think again. Your microflora, your gut bacteria owns you. Depending upon what kind of food you're eating, these microflora establish itself and causes health and disease. So make sure that you chew your food properly, important, that that starts your digestion in your mouth. Then it goes to your stomach where there's a hydrochloric acid, very important. And then it goes to your small intestine and it is as soon as it goes to small intestine, the pH changes to alkaline again. And then the also it puts more enzymes in there and the bile in there. And then it goes to the large intestine. The large intestine become acidic again. So starting in the mouth is alkaline, then the stomach acidic, alkaline in small intestine, acidic in large intestine. So those are very important connections. If you don't chew your food properly, you're not going to get that. Do you get it? So start chewing your food very, very properly. Okay. How much fiber you need to eat? We need a lot of fiber. Five to six cups of vegetables. Maybe one to two servings of grains. Dals, beans, has also a lot of fiber in there too. And if you're not used to eating that much vegetables, start slowly. One to two cup a day, go for one week. Then three cup, then four cup, then five cups. And you can add lots of vegetables in many different forms in your food. Another factor is water. Most of us, we are not in hydrated. We don't drink enough water. When you wake up, as soon as you wake up, drink two glasses of lukewarm water. This starts the peristalsis, the intestinal movement, and you will have a bowel movement with that. Keep sure that you drink around six to eight glasses of water, depending upon the season. If it's a hot weather, drink cool water. If it's a cold weather, drink warm or hot water. Okay, so another thing which is very important is acid in your stomach. So how you can promote good acid in your stomach is first by looking at your food, making a connection with your food. Second is putting some lime, lemon in water, vinegar in the water, that promotes natural. And again, a lot of pickles does the same thing too. Pickles also, if you make at home, also provides you a lot of good bacteria. Then the another part which is very important is bile. And bile is produced in your liver 
and stored in your gallbladder. And one of the most important function is does it increases the peristalsis, that the intestinal motility. And if you're not digesting your food very properly, you are going to have less of a bile production. Your liver will be not happy. What stops the liver from functioning is alcohol, too much caffeine, too much sugar, too much processed food. All those things which we eat, deep fried, all those uh, over the counter kind of uh, your uh, snack foods, they are fried, most of them. Not good for your liver and your liver get choked and you're not going to make enough bile. When you don't make enough bile, you're not going to digest it. So it's simple. It's not very difficult. Be mindful. Eat more fiber. Drink more water. Make sure you establish connection with your food. And then if this does not solve the problem, you can add oil in your diet. So put oil on top of your food. Don't fry. When you fry, basically you're destroying the oil and also your body is not used to fried oil. So putting oil on top of the food is one of the best method to encourage your liver to secrete more bile. And then there is another, you know, if still last, then you can add herbs like trifla. Trifla is amazing, wonderful. Take a one teaspoon at night with lukewarm water and you can add some ghee with it. That will provide a good solution for your constipation. This is a simple thing, but there are lots more things. And in some other video, we'll talk about that. Namaste. Thank you very much.